Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the studio. It's a brand new year. Everybody's probably still worn out and stuffed from the holidays. So today we're gonna just relax. We're gonna take it easy and we're gonna have a little bit of fun. We're gonna have a PC scavenger hunt. Take a look at this computer. I posted a picture of it on the community tab of my YouTube channel a few weeks ago. And I asked everybody, take a look at this computer and tell me what era do you think it's from? DOS and Windows 3.1, Windows 95, Windows 98, 2000, ME, do you think it's XP or Vista? Looking at it, what is it? And the answers were all across the board because it has a certain aesthetic that may or may not fit what this thing actually is. So we're gonna take our time today. We're gonna look at every little part of this. And by the end, you're probably gonna think you know what it is. Well, we'll find out. Stay tuned. All right, you guys ready to have some fun? Good. All right, let's get started. Now, before we start, look at it one more time and lock in that initial guess in your mind. What do you think it is right now? If you want to lock it in by typing it in the comments so you can't cheat later, go right ahead. It's all in good fun, so it doesn't matter. But if you want to play along, go ahead and drop that in there right now. So the only thing I'm going to point out is that I don't think this DVD drive would have been original in this. It doesn't match. And a DVD writer, that's probably something way later than this probably could have ever been. So I'm going to take this out of it as something we can use as, as something that we can date this with. The other thing is, I'm not going to show you this side. This side has the OEM stickers stuck to it for the Windows operating system. So I'm not going to show you this side. And also, apparently the badge that was right here somehow got peeled off sometime during its life and put over here too. So we're not going to show this side of the case for obvious reasons. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the front and work our way around and then inside. And I want you to guess after each segment, do you still think it's the same thing if, as you did initially or have you changed your mind? This is going to be a little bit of fun. Let's get started. All right, so this is where it's going to start getting fun. Remember I said don't use the DVD drive. But starting off on the front of it, what do we have? We've got one, two, three, four, five and a quarter inch drive base. We've got a three and a half inch floppy already installed in here, an extra three and a half inch floppy drive. So looking at this, before we go down any further, man, this could be anything from what? DOS and Windows 3.1 on up, because it seems like the older they were, the more drive bays they had. So that's, that's a pretty good clue maybe right there. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, reset button, power button. It does have an MSI motherboard in it, so that gives us a little bit of clue, but those have been around a long time too. Now here's something that uh, might catch you up just a little bit. If you're thinking Windows 95, what about these down here? Those are USB ports and they're built in. They weren't an add-on, but they do look like the original USB. They don't look like anything, you know, newer than that. But we do have USB. So now Put that in your head and start thinking, when did USB start coming out on computers? Which operating systems had USB support? Did Windows 95 have native USB support? Was it Windows 98? Uh, did Windows 3.1 have it? So start thinking about that. So we've got five and a quarter inch bays, three and a half inch bays, separate reset button, separate power button, and USB on the front. So lock that into your mind and let's flip the computer around and see if it starts changing your mind any. All right, so let's look at the back side and see if it gives us any more clues. So standard power supply here. We've got PS2 mouse and keyboard. That doesn't really help us much. We do have two more USB sockets. They look like USB one to me, but uh, I could be wrong. Uh, Ethernet, we've got serial, VGA, we've got parallel, we've got the MIDI port and onboard audio, and then we also have a dial-up modem down there at the bottom. Now, it looks like it has multiple slots in it. Now, we'll be able to see what those are when we open up the case. But looking at the back, kind of a standard uh, array of ports and everything on the back. So, does that tell you a little bit more about what you think this might be or not? I mean, we've the USB, to me, is pushing me in a certain direction you know, between the, the two that I was thinking of. So we've got the USB and then 
just kind of normal ports for everything. The only thing I will say, it does look like it has onboard audio and onboard LAN, so that might make a difference in your decision. So kind of keep that in mind. What are you guys thinking? Is your, is your first guess still the same as your second guess now? Lock it in if so, because we're getting ready to turn this thing around and we're going to take the side cover off and look at the main board. So you ready? All right, let's go to the sides. All right, time for the big reveal. Here we go. Now we're going to start taking a look at the inside of this thing. So what jumps out to you right away? Anything? Does anything stand out as being unusual or different or not what you expected? If so, pause and leave it down in the comments. It'll be interesting to see what uh, everybody says when they have their first look inside of this. Now, it looks like standard stuff. IDE connections for the hard drive, for the floppy drive, for the optical drive. And if we look a little bit closer, looks like we've got AMD here on the fan. So it's an AMD processor, which they've been around a long time but maybe the style of the logo might uh, clue you in a little bit. Uh, it's a VIA chipset. Looks like we've got AGP and PCI slots in it. We've got two sticks of RAM. Let me pull out one of these and see if we can see anything about what size they are. Uh, it's DDR266, if that helps anybody. I don't see a model number or a capacity on these, but I believe they are 512k maybe. So just kind of keep that in mind if that helps you out with uh, dating this. But in the PCI slots, the only thing that we have in the PCI slot is that modem. Uh, it looks like at some point maybe somebody had something else plugged in because we are missing a couple of the covers. But with the VIA chipset, a AMD processor and you know maybe a gig maybe two of RAM any more ideas on what it is and looking at the size of the motherboard too I've got small hands that's that's the motherboard right there so does that give you any any clues maybe maybe not uh, hard drive in this I believe is around 200 gigabytes maybe if that helps out any with some guesses but let me do a couple of we'll do a couple of, of close-up shots of components on this board now so you can really see what's in here and maybe that'll help you with your guess because for a lot of us when you first see that board it's going to immediately tell you what era we're looking at here now, some of you that might be new to the older computers may not see that right away. So let's do a little bit of a close-up and see if anything jumps out at you. Because the next step in this is going to be booting this thing up, and we're going to have the reveal of the operating system all at once. So last chance to get your looks, last chance to lock in your final guess. All right, we're going to get ready for the big reveal. Lock that final answer in your mind or lock it down in the comments. Let us know what you think it is before the reveal, because here it comes. All right, guys, you ready for the big reveal? Now I'm going to give you what my guess was when I first saw this machine. I thought it was a Windows 98 machine. Looked like it has first generation USB on it. It's got plenty of drive bays on it, the size of it. That's just what it screamed to me. So how many of you guessed Windows 98? All right, are you ready for the big reveal? Here we go. This thing's a little bit loud, so if you hear the computer over top of me, just bear with me. All right, so we should be booting up. The moment of truth is coming. It's got a Ward BIOS, kind of the standard stuff you saw all the way up, you know, through the 90s into the 2000s. All right, here we go, the moment of truth. So how many of you had Windows XP on your crazy computer bingo card. <laughs> Who won this one? I never would have thought looking at this that it was a Windows XP machine. But as I'll show you right now, it's got the OEM stickers on the side of it. It runs a AMD Athlon XP processor at around one gigahertz. It's got 1.2 gigs of RAM in it. 
it's an all original machine. This is how it was built but I can't find any information about who actually put this together. So I'm guessing it was a, a fly-by-night company making business machines or something like that because it's decently specced, but it just has no style. It's like it's stuck in an era way before this came out. I mean, when I think Windows 98 even, I think of my HP that I've got behind me. You know, that's when they started going to a little bit different shapes, making them look a little bit more futuristic. And by the time Windows XP came around, I'm thinking those old Dell Dimension desktops, you know, the ones that were black and gray, and you had all these new styles of computer case come out. This wasn't something I would expect to have seen in a Windows XP machine. So there it is, our beginning of the year PC treasure hunt. So how many of you won? If you did, make sure you leave your, your comment down there saying that you aced it to begin with. And anybody else that has comments or questions about this crazy thing, leave them down there below. Until next time, I appreciate you all sticking around. Happy computing.